Welcome to the Pyramid Insider. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Air Force Talon Bolt brand new arrow slinger from Air Force Air Guns. So the Talon Bolt was announced at SHOT Show, of course, and has finally hit shelves. Uh, you got a lot going on here, even though it looks like your run-of-the-mill Air Force air gun. A uh, very cool system that has a lot of benefits over many of the other arrow firing air guns on the market, at least in my opinion. I may be a little bit biased on this one as well, as I got to use this down in Texas last year with my buddy Tun Jones hunting some exotics. So uh, we had some great success. You can go see the video on YouTube if you haven't already, but let's dive into the the details of the Talon Bolt. So the Talon Bolt comes in at about 40 inches overall length and right about five pounds or so. So it's very light as far as arrow firing air guns go. Uh, it does come with three of these bolts that you see here. Uh, and we'll talk about the bolts in a minute, but this is a kind of a traditional over the barrel loading arrow firing air gun. So you have a hollow backed arrow and you just slide it on over the barrel here and locks in right in place. Now it doesn't have an audible click or anything like that, but it does stay secure. Uh, so you don't have to worry about it going anywhere as you are walking through the woods. So loading is very simple, very easy. And again, it comes with three of these arrows. We'll talk about those in a little bit more detail here in a moment. Um, you do have this quiver setup, which comes with a little Picatinny rail that is not included with it, but it is available as an add on. Uh, you can also buy extra bolts as needed, but Coming on back is really where the meat and potatoes of what's different about the Talon Bolt comes into play. So what's unique and different about the Talon Bolt is the kind of loading action or the breech area, the valving, if you will. Uh, so this functions completely different than any of the other Air Force air guns that you've seen, which does mean sadly that it's not backwards compatible to any of the other Air Force platforms. But what it does mean is that you have a different setup back here than you would in any of those guns. And that's because you don't have back pressure created from a pellet or a bullet here at the back of the breech. It's created way up up here at the front of the arrow. So Air Force had to devise some unique valving to make this gun not only efficient, uh, but just operate on kind of their traditional direct flow system. Uh, but because of that, it does allow you to use these ring lock caps. Now the gun does ship with two of them. You're gonna get it with a 0 .220 and a 0 .180 orifice, and that's the size of that hole right there. So the 220, obviously a little larger, gonna give you more airflow and more power up to 425 plus feet per second or so. Of course, we'll test that. And the 0 .180 is going to reduce that, but increase your shot count. So the really the only user adjustable power arrow fire air gun on the market right now and that's really what makes this gun unique. Now, of course, the rest of the gun is built out largely like any other Air Force air gun. You have your 11 millimeter dovetail here for mounting your accessories, things like that uh, on the top and the bottom. So you can see that's what we've done here, uh, kind of with the quiver mount, which attaches to like a BKL piece here. It all comes set up for you. So it's very easy to assemble. Uh, but really the, you know, you've got your 11 millimeter dovetail optics rail as well. I've got a Hawk crossbow scope mounted here as well. You can go with whatever scope you like, but the crossbow scopes are going to have some some trajectory compensation built in, which is a good thing to have for these arrow firing air guns. Uh, dropping down, you have your normal kind of trigger guard system, automatic safety, of course, A2 compatible AR grip. Uh, and then the big feature, in my opinion, uh, outside of the power adjustability is the fill pressure. So this is a spin lock tank and it is their normal 490 cc tank but it only fills to 2000 PSI, not 3000 or 3600, depending on what other guns you might be familiar with. So 2000 PSI means this is going to be a lot more friendly for those of you that are hand pumping or filling from like an aluminum scuba tank. This is gonna get you a lot more fills uh, and that lower pressure is gonna be much easier to achieve with those other fill systems. Let's talk about the arrows and this uh, quiver system really quick. So you do have a quick disconnect system. So you just flip that little lever there and then slide the quiver off. It's a four arrow quiver. The gun comes with three, just so you know. But let's talk about these bolts here. 
So you have a 340 grain bolt overall weight that is gonna vary just a little bit uh, based off of some of these little pieces and parts. There's gonna be a little bit of a variance in there, but should be right around 340 for you. 100 grain tip, so this is gonna be very easily replaceable. Obviously screw in your broadhead of choice, do some testing with it, make sure it's flying straight and you're gonna be good to go. Uh, but the cool thing about these arrows is uh, kind of this white strip here and these veins. Now the veins are actually glow in the dark, so you will be able to see them so long as they've gotten nice sufficient light during the day. Um, but this white strip here is going to be actually really helpful. Air Force calls this their hit marker. And this is going to tell you kind of what part of the animal you hit. Obviously, if you're, you know, getting that bubbly red goodness on there, you know, you did a good job. But if it's green or, you know, if you got some of that fat on there, you may not be so lucky and might be in for a long track. So that hit marker is there to help you out. Same thing with the veins, really uh, help you find the bolt after you've shot it. But also same thing, they're white in color. So you're going to have an easier time I'm kind of figuring out diagnosing what your shot did when you hit your animal and this is a really stiff carbon arrow so certainly going to be resilient uh, it's going to last you a long time as long as you're not shooting it into hard objects so just uh, obviously your archery targets are going to be what you're going to be shooting this into and make sure you have one rated for those 400 plus velocities and you're going to be just fine. And of course, this has the traditional spin lock tank system. So you are going to just remove this cap here and that is your quick disconnect fill fitting. And you have your pressure gauge on the other side. Uh, really my only gripe with the platform is that this is not marked to 2000 PSI. So you do have to pay attention when you're filling. Not that you wouldn't be paying attention anyway, but just know that you don't have like a red mark at 2000. So pay attention when you're filling. Um, but should deliver about five shots or so with that high power, that 220 orifice and uh, probably 15 plus with the smaller orifice but we'll see what those velocities look like when we hit the range uh, everything else about this gun is normal air force kind of standard operation you push forward to uh, cock the action here you load your arrow you go ahead close it you can flip it to either side just make sure it's locked in and you are good to go once you take it off safe uh, trigger is non-adjustable of course like all the other guns but this one's coming in pretty nice let's head out to the range and see how the talon bolt performs arms. All right, so we stretched the talon bolt out to 30 yards, and what you've got there is a three shot, roughly inch and a half, two inch group, somewhere in there. This is like minute of deer heart every single time. Uh, we've seen arrow guns that are more accurate than this, yes, uh, but this is still just fine for hunting. And honestly, like 30, 40 yards is going to be your kind of prime for this distance for an arrow firing air gun or should be anyway. You can certainly stretch the legs further than that when you're messing around, but for hunting, 40 yards and in is probably where you're gonna wanna keep this. Now, with that said, we'll show you how to swap over the ring lock kit. I've got the tools and the other uh, valve orifice there. So we'll swap that over and then re-chronograph it at the lower power and we'll see you back in studio to re cap the whole thing. So now that we've shown you the accuracy and we've gotten our chronograph numbers with the big orifice, let's swap things over. First thing you're going to do is open up your bolt and you are going to grab the two ring lock wrenches that come with your gun. You're going to place one over the back of the valve and the other over your ring lock cap that is already on there and break it loose. Very simple to do. Once you've broken it loose, you can just twist that off by hand. Oop. And then we are going to take our smaller 180 orifice and thread that right on. And then take our two wrenches again. And you're good to go. All right, let's look over these chronograph numbers from the Talon Bolt. Remember, 340 grain full weight bolt. So the 220 orifice right at five shots basically before it really fell off, but five shots over 400 feet per second. We topped out at 424 feet per second. Uh, so you're looking at 136 foot pounds, at least out of our gun. They do rate it a little bit hotter than 425. So your mileage may vary just a little bit, but five good shots at that high power level is gonna be more than enough for really any game uh, once you strap a broadhead onto this thing. But dropping down to the 180 orifice, this is where things get really interesting. Remember, all of this is off of a 2000 PSI fill. 
So you were looking at 18 shots within a 24 foot per second extreme spread, uh, 350 ish feet per second, and that's right around 90 foot pounds. So still very lethal. This is more powerful even at this lower power setting than really any vertical bow and a heck of a lot of crossbows as well. So certainly lethal and you're gonna get way more shots and better air consumption out of that uh, smaller orifice than you would out of the larger one. Makes perfect sense, but really good numbers out of the Talon Bolt. All right, friends, let's wrap up the Talon Bolt here. Uh, this is overall a really nice hunting package and really that's what it's purposed for. You've got good velocity, those speeds up above 420 feet per second is going to be certainly lethal. Uh, but I really like the power adjustability. It's very easy to do as you saw with the uh, with those quick change ring lock kits there. You can swap out that orifice very easily. Uh, but that 2000 PSI fill pressure is also very attractive for this gun. Uh, it's going to make this way more achievable in terms of filling for those of you hand pumping or filling off of maybe a small bottle or a large scuba tank uh, that only fills the 3000 PSI. And really that's where I think the Talon Bolt comes into play in the wider world of arrow firing air guns. Uh, so those are kind of the unique features there. Overall, I really don't have any gripes with the gun. I've put it to use myself in the field and it works well. It does exactly what you need it to do pretty much every time. And it does so in a relatively lightweight and easy to use simple package. So uh, the Talon Bolt overall gets two thumbs up from me guys. Uh, Check it out next time you're on the website, pyramidair.com. And uh, if you have any comments, questions, thoughts, let us know down in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well. We appreciate it a ton, and we will see you next time.